Good morning, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to CW Iowa Live here on Channel 23. Every single Tuesday, we bring in an expert in from Westside Auto Pros, and today it is Joe, the other car guy. Good morning. The better morning. looking car guy. <laughs> expert, I don't know. But, uh, well, <laughs> well, I hate that we're going to start uh, with this first word, but uh, mm. winter, winter is right around the corner. So you're helping us out with some good advice this morning. Yeah, yeah. Like it or not, it's going to show up. We live in Iowa. We know that by now. Right. <laughs> There's no avoiding it, so it's you coming, might as well be coming. prepared. It's coming right around the corner. <laughs> uh, so soon we get snow, sleet, ice. It's all going to happen. Right. Um, road conditions that none of us like, which you were talking about a little bit this morning. Yeah, I was already hydroplaning rain, this morning, so. which probably means mm -hmm. I just have bad tires that are going too fast. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, it, <laughs> combination of the two. conditions <laughs> are, are, are starting to become apparent on yeah. the roadway. Yeah, yep. Uh, so as it, as it starts to deteriorate this fall and winter, uh, you know, the only thing between your car and the road are your tires. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else. True. Um, you know, we do 60 roadside assistance calls a minimum per day. Per day? Per day. Most, well, I shouldn't say most, a lot of them or the fair share of them are tires. Okay. Um, and they're tire failures that probably could have been prevented. Mm -hmm. um, and the driver doesn't know because, you know, maybe the place that they're taking it to isn't checking them. Maybe they haven't been in a long, long time. <laughs> mainly, <laughs> They're mainly overdue. In, in, inflation, <laughs> yeah. inflation yep. issues. Is, inflation it, is it one of those things like you just assume, like tires, that seems like a basic thing that a mechanic would check. So yeah. if I go in for a, an oil change, they're going to be checking my tires. Right. Yeah, that's something that in most places do, but there are yeah. a few that, you know, that you're in and out in 10 minutes and what all got missed. But people, <laughs> act, I mean, everybody knows this, but I think a lot of people forget We've had a few cool nights now. Mm -hmm. Your tires are going to deflate a little bit. Mm -hmm. And normally in the summertime, you know, it's 90 degrees. They hold their pressure well. Right. It gets down to 50 degrees or 49 degrees at night. You're going to lose a few PSI. And if you get another couple cool nights, next thing you know, your tires are getting pretty yeah, close to needing exactly. to be inflated. Yep. And so, yeah, you need to... You need to check them yourself and not just wait till your next oil change. Yeah, yep. right. the, <laughs> the three and four dollar tire gauges are better than nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'll get you close to <laughs> you and don't have to have a hundred dollar tool to do it. Right. Yeah. And a lot of cars are computers anymore, so they'll you know, scream yeah. at you yep. if you're a little low on air. Yeah, this yep. is the time of year we start just seeing saying, but we don't always, on. Yeah, yep. but we don't always pay attention to that light. It's like, right. oh, it's fine. But how much of a difference can that make for us if we're out on the road? It, it, can, it can be a huge difference, especially if that light, I mean, is coming on and you're down 10 or 12, you know, mm -hmm. pounds in your tire. It, that's going to cause it a lot more likely to fail than a properly inflated tire. And something to tell people is when your tire gets deflated, you get worse gas mileage. Absolutely. So it's like it's a cost thing too. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're losing money by yeah. not keeping your tires at an optimal pressure. Yeah, for the $3 gauge and the free air at the gas station, <laughs> you can save yourself a lot of money. <laughs> so besides the air pressure, uh, tread is a big thing that we need to be concerned Tread's with right huge. now. Tread's um, huge. The DOT, the Department of Transportation, actually says if you have two thirty seconds, which would be a sixteenth of an inch, of tread, it, it's illegal to be on the road. If you were really? in an accident and your tires were in that, you could actually be held liable for not having a safe vehicle on the road. Seriously? Yeah. Now, as far as safety goes in Iowa, between four and five 30 seconds is when you're gonna have no winter traction. Mm -hmm. Your wet traction might not be the best. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's the middle of heat in summer, four to five 30 seconds isn't gonna be as big of a deal as where we're at now. Um, so four to five thirty seconds on your tire depth, you should be getting those replaced, especially going into winter. Now, any any tips for people at home? I know you always see people use like quarters or something. I was gonna say Lincoln's head or what are we using yeah, these yeah, days? Yeah, you, you can use the the penny. Um, there's also another dollar tool that I think we buy by like the the hundred dollar, you know, plastic sack full of them for the guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a tread depth gauge. Oh. You know it. 99 out of 100 people aren't going to run out and buy one of these, but it's what we use at the shop. Mm -hmm. So when you come in, we can actually measure, and it usually doesn't fall apart. Uh, we can actually measure so your tread. Live on television, okay. so that's, that's what's going to happen. That's right. So show that again, uh, Joe. They were. Yep, it's got the 30 seconds on, on it, um, okay. so that you can actually see how many 30 seconds are on there. If it's four to five, it's time to start pricing tires mm -hmm. since we're in September. Right. Um, you know, a new tire is going to average 12 to 14, 30 seconds, depending on if you have a car, SUV, or truck. Okay. Um, so that's going to be a brand new tire. 
Um, and then also, I, I believe that we've got a picture of a tire with uh, the tread depth down to two thirty seconds. So you can kind of see what so that we can looks show like. you. I don't know how well that'll show oh, up. There it goes. Oh, there, there it go. comes. Um, those arrows are indicating the wear bar. The manufacturers of tires put a wear bar on there. Mm -hmm. So that's something that you can self check. You can go out and find that wear bar on your tire. Okay. It, it's obvious. I mean, like in the tire, there's going to yep. be four of them on it. Um, it if if the tread is smooth along that, then you're, you're done. <laughs> Stick a yeah. fork in it. Big warning yeah. sign there. Big warning get sign. To, get yourself yeah. some tires. If you can take your finger and you can put it in between yeah. the tread before you touch that, chances are you're above. You're doing okay. Yeah. Well, I imagine a lot of people this time of year realize people are looking at getting new tires as they head into the winter season. Uh, so is there any deals out there? Right now, and this is a, a big time of year for tire sales, so that the manufacturers incentivize a lot of the top brands, you can get up to a $100 rebate on those. Nice. Um, um, it, not rebate wise, but there's also winter tires mm -hmm. um, that Ron will touch on yep. or possibly me later on this year. <laughs> <laughs> um, but winter tires, you know, are certainly an option. Yeah. They've made a huge comeback. It used to be that, you know, for a while there was a, a gap where people really didn't care about them. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but there's a lot of, yeah. a lot of benefits. I think, to I think it goes well. to say, I mean, if you've ever driven in Iowa the winter with winter tires, it makes a huge mm -hmm. difference. The the best all season tire in four wheel drive is not the same as having a winter tire yeah. on. All right, so things to keep in mind, folks. Of course, we're so appreciative that uh, road si roadside assistance does exist, but yes. we're hoping you don't have to use <laughs> it. Yes. That's now right. It is the time. So should people just come in and just say, "Hey, can you take a look at my tires?" Absolutely. Or buy the tool. What's the best uh, yeah. thing yep. going forward? If you want, just come on down and see us. We'll check your tread depth on your tires. There's no cost. We're not trying to sell you anything, but mm -hmm. that way you're safe and not using our roadside mm -hmm. assistance. There you go. Good <laughs> peace just, of mind. Just as pop in and see these good looking yeah, guys. And right? Yeah, and the door. Now, Joe, if people want to get in touch with you, just because they might have a concern or you know they're not used to maybe doing the penny or look, knowing what to look for where should they go yep you can come down and see us 1901 northwest 92nd court and clive uh, just off swanson boulevard uh, or you can call us at 225-9090 all right just make sure and say hi joe yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you so much for being here this morning we will be right back folks you're watching cw iowa live on channel 23.